Why not? It's gotten me through a lot of stumps and games. In any case, I'm not going directly there. Well, game facts didn't exist when this game came out, did it? No, I don't think so. This game came out in 1999. So I cut out some... I cut out most of the travel time here. I'm not going right to Adea's house. I'm up. That would be silly. That's progressing the plot. There's other things to be done. <laughs> I'm realizing, wait a minute, we're getting toward the end of disc two here. <laughs> this is a bit faster than I thought things were going. Um, I'm actually going to Win Hill. Or as H.C. Bailey calls it, Fail Hill. Because I'm... Um, <laughs> yeah. The garden probably flying dangerously close to it. But they don't care, because running into things on the world map has no consequence whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, actually, the reason why I went to Windhill was very simple. I wanted to be on the screen where it, where a certain music track played that doesn't play anywhere else, because I, you know, giving the names of all of the music tracks. Uh, yes. But I wound up staying there for something else because I got interested in something that I hadn't seen before. Right. And the music here has changed. It is uh, now the uh, Fisherman's Horizon theme. Yeah, you actually can learn quite a bit about a certain aspect of the storyline that wouldn't come in directly through the main plot. Mm. Side stories, basically. Yeah. I get you. And this isn't like Final Fantasy XIII where you have a massive data log. There are some things that you can find through the equivalent of a data log. But it's not as extensive, I don't think. And for some reason, I didn't have the spell drain at all. I don't know why that is. If you junction drain to your status attack, then you'll take hit points from the enemy whenever you hit. That sounds very useful. Don't use it against undead enemies, though, because that won't end well for you. What, doesn't it work in reverse on them? Yeah. Or at least... Or at least you lose hit points. At least I know that part works in reverse. And there are chickabos running across the road. And I got a piece of a vase. Boing. <laughs> yeah, this this is the screen that I wanted to visit because you don't hear this track anywhere except on this screen, I don't think. This is the other chocobo theme. Odekake chocobo. Okay. Now here's an interesting, uh, I don't want to say glitch, but oversight by the programmers. It said that I just got Phoenix down from that last item. But what I actually got was a Phoenix Pinion. That is a far more powerful item. When used in battle. You'll see. And... I got the Mother Chocobo's attention now, which means that I can't catch any more Chickabos. But yes, that Phoenix Pinion is the best item I get here. <laughs> There's also an item I get at the end of a side quest, but it isn't as good. <laughs> Great tourism industry here. <laughs> I mean, nobody here really makes much of a pitch for the town. <laughs> Remember who Rain is? 
sort of. She's the woman who took in Laguna after the incident at Centra. Ah. Where Laguna pushed his comrades off a cliff. Crazy. And then jumped off the cliff himself. Laguna does some things that are not the most intelligent ever. <laughs> Here's an understatement. Yeah, you'll see lots of flowers around here. They look pretty. And so when I found that vase piece, I thought, you know what, there are probably others around here, and you probably have to get them all for some purpose. <laughs> yes. This being an RPG. More flowers. Yeah, I actually, I don't think... I don't remember ever completing this side quest before. <laughs> so now I'm seeing, okay, how, how far have I walked according to that? And I, I, I checked. It's roughly... That thing measures roughly 15 steps for every step that it looks like you're taking on the screen. So I don't know what it's actually measuring. So here are Laguna's and Kiros's replacements. And they think they're all, you know, tough because they they're they were from Garden, and it's like, oh hey, these guys are from Garden too. Or at least two of them are. An undercover figure. Hmm. Okay, so what I bought there, there was nothing interesting in what I bought, just basic supplies, so I cut that out. Alright. And then I went, I th hoped that this would be a shortcut to the other side of town, going back onto the world map. Then I realized something. You start at a different location depending on which entrance you take. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Maybe I'll find more vase pieces when I'm going this way anyway. <laughs> I, I cut out some things here, which were, you know, periods of me wandering around and not finding anything interesting. I tried to get you Chickabo, but you can't once you've attracted the mother's attention. They just won't show up. Yeah, you see that one turned away. And since I'm walking around so much, I've been paid several times. Pretty cool. You that... paid to walk around, or what's that happen in real life? Yeah, um, the, your, when you get your salary depends on how, how many steps you've walked. I did. And this is the bar that Rain owned. Uh -huh. At least I assume she owned it. At least she ran. And hey, look, we actually have, a, have someone with a normal reaction to strangers barging into her house. <laughs> Weird, glowy, light. <laughs> no, dummy, I didn't mean ghosts. <laughs> so when I said shadows of Eris, I meant to say shades of Eris. This is sort of what I'm talking about. All of this flower stuff. I get you. Oh, yeah, and, and, and not to mention the fact that she's dead. That, too. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Another, it was his sled type spoiler. And I don't see anything interesting here for now. Anything else interesting?
And it's like, oh, hey, here's the house where Laguna was staying. There's a hidden draw point in here, but I did not know about it. To see hidden draw points and save points, you use Siren's move-find ability. Why you should pick her up? What? That's why you should pick her up for hidden items. And, and by Siren, I mean Missa. I keep forgetting that I've renamed all of the GFs. Um. Oh, but even if you're not using that ability, if you know where the save point or draw point is and you just press X right at the right place, it'll still work. So I realized, hey, wait a minute, I haven't visited this place. Can I get in here? Yep. Explore. <laughs> well, I was looking. I figured there must be someone who is going to tell me what this vase piece might be for. Yeah, I mean, you can like if you want to know what they for, are for, after all. And, oh look! <laughs> this is probably the place. When the earthquake hit the East Coast this summer, I thought that, like, there was an unbalanced load in the washing machine or something. Yeah. But then I asked my dad, and he's like, no, the washing machine isn't running. <laughs> okay, so, this guy does want the vase pieces. I'll oh, show for this vase. That he broke, apparently. Or that somebody or something broke. But how do they get all the way over there is my question. I mean... You mean to that Chocobo yeah. Crossing place? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> hey look, talking armor. <laughs> now, I hadn't seen this scene before, but when you check it again, <laughs> derp. <laughs> So why was the Chickabo talking? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> so I guess that's how they got the vase pieces. All your vase are belong to us? <laughs> Except I already used that as a video title in Plants vs. Zombies. I mean, I'm just wondering how many videos I can go through without using the same title twice. By accident. <laughs> oh, by the way, Jen, I saw an XKCD recently that used the I accidentally, you know, thing. Did you see that one? Like, hey, you kids know anything about a broken vase? It's like, okay, I guess not. So I guess Windhill still has a monster problem. For some reason, I don't know. What is it with flowers here? <laughs> You'd think this is where Ares was buried or something. Yes, you would. Plant. 